Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to be doing your weekly reading, and this will be for my Pisces. And this will be for the week of the 18th through the 24th of January. Guys, I am so sorry I did not do your reading last week. I had none done, and I became ill. I was very, very sick. Um, I thought I was going to die. It was that bad. And, um, I was still on with this. Um, I still have that scratchy throat and that, um, that cough. And, uh, I went for COVID test and I came back negative. Um, I am under quarantine at work, um, because I was around, uh, somebody that was COVID, um, positive. So, um, anyways, uh, you know, I don't wish that on anybody, but again, I am sorry for not getting your reading in last week. Um, so, but anyways, uh, I hope you guys had a great week. Um, so let's get shuffling these cards and, uh, we're going to do four. Four is the magic number this week. I don't know why. It just wants to be four. There's two. Three. Angels, guides, and spirits, what is it that Pisces needs to know for the week of the 18th through the 24th of January, please? Okay. These are flying, but they're flying all over, guys. They really want to talk to you. Something's going on here. One more. And there should be. All right. Those. Oh. All right. First card that came out um, as I was doing the uh, shufflings were, was the four of clubs. That's the key. You are, have the key, okay, to unlock success. Okay, all you have to do is use that key to unlock that success. Success is coming to you. It is being unlocked. Next, I have the king of clubs. That's the bear. Uh, success again. Um, it, success in a nurturing way. Success in a caring way and a nurturing motherly uh, type of way will be coming to you. I have the bride. If you are single, you will find, um, even if you are not married, okay? This is if you are not married, um, a single person that um, you are have or will find the person um, to your highest aims, um, the person that is going to fulfill you to your highest needs. Okay. If you are married, um, you're going to have a little bit of turbulence, um, in your marriage, a little bit of rockiness in your marriage. Okay. No, uh, it's, where am I going here? Okay. Uh, then I have the five of hearts. That's the moon card. Okay. And that's a good omen. Uh, the moon is, uh, predicts good fortune. So that's great. I have the heart, the nine of diamonds. That signifies great joy, great joy and love. The ship, the nine of hearts. Okay. The ship is, um, it signifies riches. Okay. And it, this is going to signify riches in um, inheritance, um, riches in a trade. If you are in a trade of some sort, you will uh, get some riches through a trade um, or through uh, an inheritance of some sort. 
Um, you're going to be emotional. Um, there's, you're going to have some emotions this week. Um, you're going to be on the emotional side. We have the four of hearts. This is the fish. This is riches. Riches through stocks. So if you are not in the stock market, I suggest you get into the stock market and invest some money. Um, because you will get some money through stocks. Um, another thing, um, too, is this is a water sign. Okay. The water signs are cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So it could be talking about one of those also. The next card I have is the Eight of Spades. That's the mountains. And that indicates um, a mighty enemy. Um, you have somebody that does not like you. You have somebody that uh, just, um, they don't want to see, see you succeed. They don't like you um, for some reason. They uh, have made their presence known. So this is somebody that you do know. So you need to get rid of this person. Get them out of your life at this time. So those are the inside influences. Those are the cards that are uh, influencing your, what's going on with you right now. Okay. So the next cards I have are your outside influences. I have the king of hearts. That is a hand in hand. Uh, this indicates uh, if you are single, then you will... Uh, a friendship that you have may turn into something more than just a friendship. If you are with somebody, then you uh, have your best friend. You are in love with your best friend. Your best friend is there. You're holding hands. You are one in the same. I have the eight of diamonds. That's a broken glass. Um, this fertility Four tells ill luck for a, a time being. Um, it could be a couple of years, uh, a few years. Um, gambling. Um, lotto. Horse racing. Uh, the casinos. Um, things that winnings aren't going to happen the way that they usually happen uh, here for several years or quite a, some time. So don't be putting your, your monies into gambling. Then I have the Ace of Hearts. That is the fox. Um, that augurs distrust of an acquaintance um, that you know they're going to betray you. So I feel as if it's that, that enemy. That enemy is, uh, they may be taking some money because the next card is the Seven of Spades. So watch your money. Um... It, it, it could mean, it, mean, indicate that maybe you have been divorced. Maybe you lost some monies from divorce. Um, but there is this um, person here that is just, they betray you. So keep an eye out for that. And it's somebody that you know, it's an acquaintance of yours. It's not a friend. It is an acquaintance. And they are the ones that want to betray you in some way. Then I have the Ace of Diamonds. That's the birds. That's a misfortune. Okay. Uh, a fierce enemy. Um, guys, keep an eye out for somebody. Um, somebody is really out to get you um, in some way. They don't want to see you succeed. They don't want you to see you be happy. Um, it could be somebody that you were with before. Uh, I feel as if it may be... Um, Somebody that you're divorced from, somebody that you were in a relationship with. Um, I feel as if it's somebody in along that lines that just does not want to see you succeed. So they're going to do everything in their power to make it so that you don't. So keep an eye out for that person. Jack of Hearts. Uh, that's the book. You're going to have uh, a discovery. Okay. Um, some sort of a mystery of about a person. Um, that you're going to find out. And this mystery that you find out, this thing that you find out about this person is going to be for the best. It's going to be for the better. So you're going to find out something about somebody that's going to suit you. It's going to suit your needs. It's going to be mysterious and it's going to help you. Then I have uh, the seven of diamonds. This is the fire. This is a fire sign. Okay. This is an Aries. A Leo or a Sagittarius. 
and I may be talking about, this indicates a uh, good fortune. Good fortune, and it's going to neutralize anything that is evil, okay? So this person that is trying to hurt you, they're trying to hurt you. But guess what? It's going to all backfire about the mystery that you're going to find out about. Okay, you're going to find out a mystery about them. It's going to be for your better. And this card, it takes away all the negative and it's going to go back onto them. Okay. The last card I have is the house. That is the six of hearts and that denotes success. Signa success in all of your ventures that you are out to um, uh, working towards. You're going to have a happy and a prosperous life and a prosperous family life. That's wonderful. Okay, guys. So that is your main reading. So let's ask the universe what it is that they want to talk to you about. So in, or I'm sorry, universe. Universe, what is it that my Pisces needs to know? I'm going to do four shuffles. What um, is it that Pisces you want to tell Pisces for the week of the 18th through the 24th? Angels, guides, and spirits. Universe, universe, universe. One more. Universe, talk to us. I'm getting very tired, guys. You are my last reading for the night. That's because I've been staying up way too late, past my bedtime, watching football games. That's why. And right now, I got the football game on right now. So, All right, guys. So, again, we have fire. Um, this is about passion. Okay? Um, you're passionate about something. Um, but it's also talking about that fire sign. That Aries. Okay? That Leo. That Sagittarius. Okay? It's talking about those. It, it's very... You've had two cards now with that sign there. Um, but this is about passion. Um, so maybe you are passionate about something. Um, it may include a person, um, a person with those signs, um, a fire sign. So, um, or a fire sign has come in to you and they're very passionate. Um, then I have the rainbow. Rainbow is all about blessings. You have blessings on the way. Um, you have great blessings here. Um, good things are coming your way. Blessings are coming to you. Good things are coming your way, guys. Um, that's awesome. They want you to take time. Sit down. Uh, do some shape shifting. Think about yourself. Think about the things that you want in life. Um, think about those dreams and those hopes and those wishes that you all uh, want to fulfill. Okay. Have you ever sat down, um, you know, on the ground? on a cloudy day or, or in a chair and looked up at the clouds and just looked at them floating by and it's so peaceful and it's just relaxing and that's all that you see are the clouds and you are picturing in your mind scenes, uh, animals, you're seeing things in those clouds um, and that's what they want you to do. They want you to meditate so that you can see those clouds. You can see the images and you can feel those images and the images that, that the universe wants you to know about, okay? All right, one last card that I'm gonna read for you guys and this is a postcard and this is um, from Spirit, okay? So Spirit, give us a postcard for my Pisces. Give me a postcard of something that you want them to know for the week of the 18th through the 24th, that something that resonates with them and something that I feel as if it's that one. All right, let's see here, guys. Dearest you, even though life seems now to be moving full steam ahead, it's a time to rest. Allow ideas to flow through you and take root in your heart before they reach your mind. Honor this process by becoming empty. 
to allow for inspiration in the magic of dreaming. Did I tell you that, guys? Did I tell you to meditate and to dream and to think about things? You might feel lazy and unproductive, but we know better. Just as sleep is a way to recharge before renewal, so are you in a time for dreaming. It is. In this powerful process of co-creation, your soul merges with spirit in a profound way so you can receive your music directly from source and play your part in the symphony of life. You are being invited to bear witness to the great creation and tune in to what others can't hear. We have so many dreams to share with you in the sacred and the invisible. Don't worry, we will wake you when it's time to return with a new dream. No need to set an alarm clock. Loving you always. So guys, they're telling you to dream, right? Close your eyes. Think about nothing. Listen to what it is that um, Spirit's trying to tell you. They're here. They want you to hear what they are trying to tell you. You will hear things in the invisible. You will hear things, right? You are the only one that can hear this, right? Only you. You have to be in tune with spirit. You have to be in tune with yourself for you to be able to hear the things that they're trying to tell you. And once you tune into that, the possibilities are endless. Okay? Remember that, guys. Um, guys, I hope this um, resonates with you. This is a great reading for you guys. Um, just hear that symphony of life hear it coming into you guys. Um, it's allow, allowing you to hear what it is you need to hear. So I hope this helps. Remember guys, this is a general reading. Um, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely beautiful rest of your week. And until next time.